All right, welcome to another LEGO City Post. Uh, for this particular video, I thought it would be fun to take one last look at my current setup for my custom LEGO City. Uh, I'm going to be taking this apart before too long and sort of redoing basically the entire LEGO room. So uh, I guess for nothing else, if not for posterity, I want to do a quick little video just kind of showing you what I had for this uh, particular setup. So you can see I've got all the motors running right now. Um, well, I shouldn't say I have everything running, but I have the, the fairground is running. And I've got uh, the Ferris wheel, and the merry-go-round, and the mixer, and the roller coaster. And then back there, not really a fairground set, but I have the um, wind turbine or the windmill. And I've got a couple of trains running around the layout. Uh, the inner loop is my 9-volt track. This is an old uh, train engine with a whole lot of train cars on it and they run over my um, sort of custom modification of what I believe was actually a super, no, a Spider-Man set, that bridge, um, which I took a couple of copies of and then modified it fairly heavily. I think I've already shown that off before. And then on the outer loop, if you will, I have a second track. This is the normal power functions. Um, there's actually three power functions trains that I can choose to run. You can see the white passenger train is down there underneath the uh, shelf there. Um, I've got the blue cargo train running right now, and I also have a red cargo train over here. So that's a quick look. I'm gonna show you some of the details in just a second, but let me turn off everything because it's a little bit loud. Okay, so I'm now standing in the middle of my train uh, city layout. Um, I actually have a hole that I can kind of crawl underneath the tables and then be able to access sort of all parts. So I figured I'll just kind of show you around uh, fairly quickly. And on the back side, we've got a number of the um, official LEGO modulars. You can see I've also outfitted the streets with some cars. Um, I have a lot more detailing that I want to do the next setup. Um, this was kind of a temporary mock-up, if you will. And when I say temporary, I think I ended up leaving it up for a couple of years like this, where I've slowly been adding to it. Um, but you can see I've got a lot of the modulars, and I think they look really, really good together. Um, I like the new ones. As you can see, the bookstores down there at the end. Um, I know not everybody does, um, but I, I really I, I like them all. I am missing some of the uh, first few um, don't have quite the full collection, probably never will, because they're awfully expensive, but uh, yeah, that, so that's the top layer. And then down below, I started a second sort of city street, if you will. This is with the, I don't know if you'd call them like the creator mini modulars or something like that. I mean, they're not really modulars, but um, I have a few of those there. And then down here, I've got, if I zoom down here a little bit underneath the bridge, you can see. Uh, there's my Crooks Hangout, um, complete with a little bit of a, a burn barrel and some cars down there. And then the bridge actually has a Crooks Hideout that I built into it um, here as well. Uh, and you can access it with human hands right here. And the minifigures, of course, can go in the door. Um, and this is where they hide, hide some of their stuff in these um, pedestals or, I don't know, columns i guess you could say for the bridge uh also have the lighthouse this was i think a creator set and i've got an old really old uh beach rescue coast guard type set there and then if we kind of swing back up here so you can see the rest a couple more buildings we've got my fire station police station and then i'll have to show you some of these from the other angle but this is the back side of another row of fairly large buildings, including some modulars. We come over here to what is honestly just a mishmash of stuff. I uh, can't say that I kind of just throw stuff there. And then I've got my train yard here. And you can see both cargo trains can be worked on. And then finally, we swing back over here and we've got the construction site along with a tunnel that I made um, that the train runs through. And then on, up top, because I didn't have any other spot to stick it, I've got this creator cabin, which kind of, I don't know, I like it up there okay, I guess. And then finally, we've got the entire uh, amusement park. 
And so let me swing, uh, climb underneath the table one more time and then show you from here. Okay, so now I'm back out uh, from the table and I'm going to start back here at the modulars once again so that you can kind of see what it looks like going down the street. You can see the uh, half pet shop on the one side there because that's just what fit on my board. And then I have the bookshop, the bookstore, and then the little apartment building, the blue one. Um, those are actually split on both sides of the um, garage set because, again, with the space that I had, everything fit best that way. And so now if I swing down here from this angle, you can see, once again, from the front now, the police station and the fire station. But then you can see my second sort of modular row, if you will. We've got the diner. We've got my custom grocery store. Uh, we've got the Parisian restaurant. We've got another custom larger building that I did. This is a half, half and half building. We've got the Lego shop on the left and a pizzeria on the bottom right and then an ice cream shop on the upper uh, right side there. And then finally, one of my first large buildings that I did was this custom hospital. And then just to finish off, we've got a gas station and then again, kind of that mess. So that is a quick view of my Lego city. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be taking this all apart shortly, uh, redoing everything. And so I wanted to just document it for posterity, if nothing else. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye for now.